The news at 7 on the CW25. It's the worst road conditions St. Joseph County Police say they've seen all winter. Slide offs and crashes left and right. At least one of them is deadly. And the ice rink around the area has drivers on alert and we are casing it all to keep you and your family safe. Good morning, Michigan. It's Thursday, February 4th. I'm Emily Evans. And I'm Drew Gardner as we saw it there. The weather causing some big problems this morning. Even a lot of schools delayed this morning because of the road conditions. Yeah, it's pretty icy out there. And as Greg Bobus has been telling us this morning, it's not a weather maker we got last night, but this happened a couple days ago. Yeah, we got rain a couple days ago and it didn't go anywhere. And then our temperatures dropped below freezing last night about 9 o'clock and we stayed below freezing all night. Many of the roads weren't walked on, many of the roads weren't driven on, and that has led to a little bit of icing. The roads across Michiana have been like sheets of ice all morning long, as we've said. It's causing dangers for drivers. Yeah, let's check in with 95.3 MNT's Mark McGill for another look at those problem areas. Good morning, Mark. Drew and Emily, good morning to you. I do not remember a morning this crazy on the roads in a long time, certainly not yet this year. We An hours-long shutdown for a part of the U.S. 331. It's after a deadly accident there. Yeah, a car was found in a ditch after it likely slid off the roadway and inside a man dead. Take a closer look here. It happened along State Road 331 between Jackson and Kern Roads. That's where ABC 57's Evan Siri is right now with the latest. Hey, Evan. Hey, good morning, Emily. Well, uh, just now the Harley and Sons funeral van actually just left with the dead body. It was a reported male. We don't know the identification yet or in age. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that. Uh, also breaking this morning, a, a van smashes into a utility pole. It literally cracked the pole in half and brought the power lines down with it. We'll have a live report from Brandon Pope coming up just a bit later. In our next story this morning, a man was killed when his truck went off the road and hit a tree. It happened in... Uh, Colon Township just before 9. That's in St. Joseph County, Michigan. When officials found the truck on Farrand Road, the 33-year-old driver was dead. Deputies say he was ejected and wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Both alcohol and speed seem to have contributed to that crash. Firefighters are trying to piece together what caused flames in a Dowajak home. It happened around 1230 on Orchard Street. Take a look here. Several fire units responded to the blaze. Firefighters say the right side of the house along with the homeowner's car caught fire. Luckily, everyone was able to get out of the home safely. Details of why South Bend has opted to lease out Elbel Park are starting to become clear. The city's mayor has revealed it's struggling to keep the park public. It's costing the park's department and it's projected to get them for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Of course, it's coming out after pressure for transparency in decision making regarding the park and golf course. Mayor Pete Buttigieg is asking the Common Council for help. He's filed a bill to reserve $68,000 to cover the operating expenses for the golf park this year. It could help stave off some of the losses for other park resources. That include everything from irrigating soccer fields and a, a new Charles Black Youth Center um, to a, a river walk improvements, uh, splash pads in the neighborhoods, and uh, the, the list goes on and on and on. One advocate group has suggested an elected committee explore options for the park before a deal is made. A common council member has made a similar resolution. Temperatures and aging equipment have forced Howard Park Ice Rink to close for the rest of the season. South Bend Parks and Rec says the rink is closing four weeks ahead of schedule. They say trying to keep up with the melting ice is putting too much strain on the equipment, adding they've only seen about five or six days of good skating weather. A teen on the way home is killed in a fiery accident. Now the family of Christina Moren is broken. The only girl of four children died in a crash Tuesday night. Her car went off the road, hit a tree, and burst into flames. The family hopes to have a fund in Christina's name active today. It's now 708. The Democrats lay out their differences in New Hampshire. We'll take you inside the showdown preview ahead. And an HIV exposure scare. Why health officials in Colorado feared nearly 3,000 people may be at risk. We do have some school delays with the buses that are getting out and around town right now. We've got to be careful even just walking to the bus stop. Some patches of ice there as well. We'll take a look at hour by hour coming up next.